This illustration shows the seething hot planet Kepler 13 ab that circles very close to its host star, Kepler 13a. Seen in the background is the star's binary companion, Kepler 13b, and the third member of the multiple star system is the orange dwarf star Kepler 13c. Credit NASA, ESA, and G. Bacon STSCI NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has found a blistering hot planet outside our solar system where it snows sunscreen. The problem is the sunscreen titanium oxide precipitation only happens on the planet's permanent nighttime side. Any possible visitors to the exoplanet, called Kepler 13 ab, would need to bottle up some of that sunscreen, because they won't find it on the sizzling hot, daytime side, which always faces its host star. Hubble astronomers suggest that powerful winds carry the titanium oxide gas around to the colder nighttime side, where it condenses into crystalline flakes, forms clouds, and precipitates as snow. Kepler 13 ab's strong surface gravity, six times greater than Jupiter's, pulls the titanium oxide snow out of the upper atmosphere and traps it in the lower atmosphere. Astronomers using Hubble DID and T look for titanium oxide specifically. Instead, they observed that the giant planet's atmosphere is cooler at higher altitudes, which is contrary to what was expected. This finding led the researchers to conclude that a light-absorbing gaseous form of titanium oxide, commonly found in this class of star-hugging, gas giant planet known as a hot Jupiter, has been removed from the dayside's atmosphere. The Hubble observations represent the first time astronomers have detected this precipitation process, called a cold trap, on an exoplanet http sexoplanets.nasa.gov. Without the titanium oxide gas to absorb incoming starlight on the daytime side, the atmospheric temperature grows colder with increasing altitude. Normally, titanium oxide in the atmospheres of hot Jupiters absorbs light and re-radiates it as heat, making the atmosphere grow warmer at higher altitudes. These kinds of observations provide insight into the complexity of weather and atmospheric composition on exoplanets, and may someday be applicable to analyzing Earth-sized planets for habitability. In many ways, the atmospheric studies we're doing on hot Jupiters now are test beds for how we're going to do atmospheric studies on terrestrial, Earth-like planets, said lead researcher Thomas Beatty of Pennsylvania State University in University Park. Hot Jupiters provide us with the best views of what climates on other worlds are like. Understanding the atmospheres on these planets and how they work, which is not understood in detail, will help us when we study these smaller planets that are harder to see and have more complicated features in their atmospheres. BD's team selected Kepler 13 ab because it is one of the hottest of the known exoplanets, with a dayside temperature of nearly 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Past observations of other hot Jupiters have revealed that the upper atmospheres increase in temperature. Even at their much colder temperatures, most of our solar system's gas giants also exhibit this phenomenon. Kepler 13 ab is so close to its parent star that it is tidally locked. One side of the planet always faces the star, the other side is in permanent darkness. Similarly, our moon is tidally locked to Earth, only one hemisphere is permanently visible from Earth. The observations confirm a theory from several years ago that this kind of precipitation could occur on massive, hot planets with powerful gravity. Presumably, this precipitation process is happening on most of the observed hot Jupiters, but those gas giants all have lower surface gravities than Kepler 13 ab, Beatty explained. The titanium oxide snow doesn't fall far enough in those atmospheres, and then it gets swept back to the hotter day side, revaporizes, and returns to a gaseous state. The researchers used Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 to conduct spectroscopic observations of the exoplanet's atmosphere and near infrared light. Hubble made the observations as the distant world traveled behind its star, an event called a secondary eclipse. This type of eclipse yields information on the temperature of the constituents in the atmosphere of the exoplanet's day side. These observations of Kepler 13 ab are telling us how condensates and clouds form in the atmospheres of very hot Jupiters, and how gravity will affect the composition of an atmosphere, Beatty explained. When looking at these planets, you need to know not only how hot they are but what their gravity is like. The Kepler 13 system resides 1,730 light-years from Earth. 